All right, now we have Ugo Chuku with us. Hi, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Hello, good evening. Thank you for having me. All right. So, can you shed more light or say your view on the tax reform team set up by President Tinubu as there are fears in some quarters that despite the lingering impact of fuel subsidy, Nigerians may be paying more tax? What do you think? Oh, um, okay. Um, so, like I said, thank you for having me. Um, I, I, I think I think the appointment or the establishment of the Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform Committee uh, was a step in the right direction by the new administration, especially in light of um, public concerns around Nigeria's uh, fiscal economy and uh, the constraints we are currently facing. Um, I think if you also look at uh, some of the statements that have been made by the special advisor to the president on revenues, as well as the committee chairman, Mr. Taiwo Yedili, it helps to instill some level of confidence in, in, in Nigerians uh, as to uh, the fiscal economic direction of, of this new administration. Um, so if you look at the objectives in itself, um, the hope is that you know we, we would be looking at uh, driving more efficient um, tax collection processes, um, ensuring you know that there's a more um, there's, there's, we are fostering a healthier tax culture um, to drive voluntary tax compliance, and then ensuring that um, tax revenue is effectively utilized. So the concerns around. Nigerians uh, pay more in tax. While it may be cogent, um, particularly in light of the removal of the fuel subsidy and, and the knock-on effects that that uh, uh, poses across, you know, various goods and services in the country, I think there is some some level of hope, um, particularly in view of the of the objectives I mentioned and and the, the strategic direction of of the committee which is looking more at um, how to widen the tax nets and um, ensure compliance. Uh, and and um, while most people may be concerned about um, the possibility of increasing taxes, I, I think I think that, that may, not, may not come into play because uh, um, there, was, there was a statement that was made by the chairman of the committee yesterday as to um, how they want to work towards harmonizing taxes. So, so that efficiency in that process um, would help to reduce the body. Uh, one of the major, Sister Card conducted uh, a series of researches uh, as well as um, conducting desk researches as well that showed that um, one of the major concerns of um, Nigeria's largely informal sector economy um, is, is uh, multiple taxation. So we believe that harmonizing these taxes would, would go a long way to uh, reduce burden on, on taxpayers. And um, if you look at the constitution of the committee in itself, you know, there's, there's an inclusive spread, so to speak. Uh, you know, you have about 38 players across uh, both the public and private sector. And you also have the National Association of Small and Medium Enterprises there. So, and you have um, civil society organizations, um, inclusive as partners and, and observers. So that, that will go a long way in ensuring that some of the concerns of our constituents who are largely within the informal sector uh, are being considered, as well as you know, civil society concerns. Okay. There are also feelings in some quarters that the poor are paying more tax than the rich in Nigeria. Do you subscribe to this view? Well, I would say that there is no substantial evidence to establish uh, any narrative in, in, in either direction. Um, you, you would agree with me that um, while Nigeria has, Nigeria generally has a very low um, tax compliance rates. Um, we have just about 19 million taxpayers out of over, well over 60 million taxable Nigerians. And at no point has any um, survey been conducted to disaggregate these numbers across um, socioeconomic groups. So I, 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 I wouldn't want to lend a voice to 
to that assertion. In fact, um, it's also interesting to note, because if I recall, if memory serves me right, um, sometime in 2017, the vice president had alluded to um, a concern that uh, we, Nigeria, you know, when you're looking at um, self-assessed tax pay, taxpayers, that you have um, just about 943 Nigerians, 943 Nigerians paying self-assessed taxes of over, just 10 million and over um, in a year. And 941 of them are, are based in Lagos and two in Ogun states. So yes, um, we, we would agree that uh, people in higher socioeconomic groups have the wherewithal, you know, the resources to to employ the services of, of consultants to help them uh, navigate their way through through the tax laws and identify loopholes through which they evade or avoid tax. Okay, finally, before we let you go, from past experiences, um, how can we be sure that the money recruited from this tax will be judiciously used for the benefits of the masses? Okay, so um, maybe that will take me back to the objectives that I mentioned, the objectives that were set out for um, the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms. And one of, one of those objectives is centered around ensuring that there's an effective use of uh, effective utilization of, of tax revenue. Um, I, 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 it would be safe to say, without holding brief for the government, that um, we are at the mercy of of their sincerity of purpose. And so there needs to be some level of, or some demonstration of political will to not just establish a committee, um, but um, see you know, it's true to a logical conclusion and adopt the recommendations of that committee when it comes out in about 30 days. So yes, um, I understand the fears Nigerians have. And we must remember that um, public, public trust is, is a function of, especially with respect to tax, is a function of how commensurate the returns are on, on tax contributions that taxpayers make. So the government has a, a task ahead of it to oh. firstly demonstrate that you know what we have currently um, is going to be judiciously used and, and, okay. and that would help to embolden Nigerians and, and taxpayers alike. Um, there, I think there are quite a number of opportunities and this committee presents because um, if, if you consider our, our fiscal economy right now um, and okay. its complexities, there's a, a unique opportunity for us to reform the entire process. And, and I really hope that, that the community will, will live up to its expectations. And, and I really trust in that, particularly right. considering the leadership of, of, of the community, oh. as well as um, the, the diverse spread of the members okay. of the community. All right. Thank you so much for being part of this news at the time. You're very welcome. Thank you. That was Shuku Manachi, a senior program officer, tax, justice, environment, and conservation of nature program, SISLAC, who joined us from Abuja.